Our next guest is a Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter whose latest brilliant album, Unfollow the Rules, is out right now. Please welcome to the show the immensely talented Rufus Wainwright is here. There he is. How are you, Rufus? It's so lovely to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm uh, up the street from you in, uh, in Laurel Canyon. So, uh, so, yeah, I'm very happy in my, in my massive library. <laughs> <laughs> it is. A, it's an impressive library. I like it. It's exactly where I imagined you would be. Yes, yes. I'm here. With, with, there's a harpsichord. <laughs> there's a couple of candelabras. You know, I'll, you know it's great. Well, I'm not you... wearing anything. <laughs> Well, you are having quite the moment, because I, as I've told you uh, privately, and I will tell you now publicly, I think the new album is absolutely, astonishingly brilliant. And you, congratulations on the new, uh, the Grammy nomination, which just came uh, out this, this uh, past few weeks. Uh, wh what did you think when you heard the news? Yeah, I mean, I have to admit, my husband and, and I, my husband, Yorn, who is also my manager, when we heard in the morning, we started crying. <laughs> we were so happy, just because any good news is is uh, good news and certainly after the election we were you know our senses were somewhat addled so so when we heard about the grammy we were very very excited and and very very happy and you know my dad won a grammy uh a few years ago and so it's necessary that i that i am nominated <laughs> <laughs> ah. well okay we'll uh we'll maybe delve into that on a podcast but um what, yeah, yeah, yeah. i mean <laughs> The album. Where did where did you where did the title "Unfollow the Rules" come from? Um, "Unfollow the Rules" came from uh, our daughter uh, Viva, who one day walked into the living room and said, "Daddy, you know, sometimes I just want to unfollow the rules." And and then she walked out, and I, of course, let her do that. <laughs> Didn't take any notice of what she was talking about, and just wrote a song, <laughs> and stole her lyric. <laughs> well, it, uh, it's so good, and there's so many standout songs on it, but the, there's one particular song which I, I think is the, the last song on the album. Is that right? Is it the yeah. last song? There's a song called oh, Alone my... Time, which I, I might have listened to a thousand times in this period of, of lockdown. It's so beautiful. What was it that inspired that song? Yeah, well, I was uh, staying actually with my husband. We were staying with Helena Bonham Carter. Yes. Uh, uh, he has a beautiful house up on in Belsize Park in yeah. uh, in London, and uh, we were all—I think we were all just at the time she was with Tim Burton, and I was—I think we were all just sick of each other's spouses or something. <laughs> and I had to take, a, and so I took a walk into Camden Town to be amongst hippies and you know drug addicts <laughs> and people with weird hair, and uh, and that's and the that's song came to me. I just—it was about you know escaping Belsize Park, basically. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very familiar with that feeling of, of, of escaping Belsize Park, so much so <laughs> I moved here. But um, you. you recently posted, which people should seek out and find if they can, a, a performance of you and Darren Chris singing Bridge yeah. Over Troubled Water, which uh, is it's a gorgeous rendition. How did that come about? You know, that, that song I was always afraid to sing, you know, and, and I think it's considered one of the great kind of ballads of, yeah. for a male singer. And, and, so I, and, 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 and Garfunkel's version is so epic and so iconic that I never wanted to touch it. Um, but, I but I knew at some point I'd had to give it a shot, and so I did. And, uh, and I enlisted Darren Chris to help me out. Um, but it, it's weird because it fit, it fit very well in my voice. And it's not as high as I thought it was. Uh, so uh, maybe I'm just not as high as I used to be. <laughs> so, I, so I can actually pull it off. <laughs> well, I don't see. Congratulations on the, on the album. Congratulations for everything that's happening. It, it really is, uh, a, as all of your albums are, and this, I, I think, you've never sounded better on, on an album. And, and I, it's really gotten me through a lot of moments these past few months. Uh, Congrats. When we come back, Rufus will perform Alone Time right here. Come on back, everyone.